get ready for the dictation on the count of 3 2 1 start honorable members our mothers and sisters always used to save some money for difficult times but often these savings were spent on daily needs to date rupees 88000 crore deposited in jandan accounts is a testimony to the changing saving habits it is only because of the jandan scheme that wages from manrega benefits from different insurance schemes scholarships pensions and most other government benefits are being credited directly into the bank accounts of the poor through dbt jandan accounts have succeeded in eliminating the middlemen between the government and the poor jandan yojana is playing an important role in facilitating cost effective digital transactions in the country through more than 60 crore rupee debit cards and bhim app similarly government is bringing banking services closer to the people through the india post payments bank setup in the post offices as a result the whole world has taken note of this step towards financial inclusion in india whereas many social welfare programs were in existence for the past several decades they had failed to produce the desired impact the alertness action oriented approach and good intention displayed by my government towards the aspirations and difficulties of citizens have made it possible to bring about large scale visible changes while giving a clear majority to my government in 2014 the people of the country had also given a clear mandate to take strict action against corruption and black money my government has come down heavily on corruption in the past four and a half years being sensitive to public sentiment my government has waged a war on corruption and black money from day one and approved constitution of a special investigation team sit on black money in the very first meeting of the cabinet Thereafter, government enacted a new and strict law on black money. My government also carried out a campaign against illegally acquired assets in foreign countries. New agreements were signed with several countries known as tax havens and several others were signed with many other countries to rectify deficiencies in existing agreements while preventing the flow of black money abroad my government also launched a major campaign against black money with the country new laws were enacted for sectors thriving on black money and those were brought under the ambit of taxation honorable members demonetization was a defining moment in the government's war on corruption and black money this decision struck at the very root of the parallel economy thriving on black money and the money outside the formal system was brought within the ambit of nation's economy this action of the government broke the back of the forces destabilizing the country and the systems sustaining the flow of black money the registration of 338000 dubious shell companies responsible for flow of black money have been 
annulled by the government the directors of these companies have also been prohibited from holding such offices again assets worth more than rupees 50000 crore are being taken under the benami property act prevention of money laundering act and the law against fugitive economic offenders as a result of the policies of my government black money in real estate sector has declined substantially the prices of houses have come down and the dream of a normal middle class family for possessing their own house is being realized i am pleased that on account of these policies of my government people's trust in the government has increased and there has been a sharp increase in the number of persons paying income tax whereas prior to 2014 3.8 crore people had filed their return this number has increased and more than 6.8 crore people have come forward to file their returns to date the taxpayer is confident that each paisa contributed by him or her is being spent on a sleek on nation building my government believes that corruption and black money constitute a grave injustice towards the honest taxpayer of the country corruption always infringes on the rights of some poor or middle class person the government is relying on application of modern technology to address this situation as a result of the expansion in direct benefit transfer in the last 4 and 8 half years more than rupees 6 lakh 5000 crore have been directly transferred to the bank accounts of beneficiaries because of this about rupees 1 lakh 10000 crore have been saved from falling into wrong hands government has removed about 8 crore fictitious names which were being used by middlemen to misappropriate the rightful benefits of genuine beneficiaries in order to build a strong nation it is imperative that we develop our economy in such a manner that will help our fellow citizens to progress with transparency and honesty my government developed a transparent system for auction of coal mines and has protected this national resource of the country